full name is Abraham H. Lass. Nobody ever calls me Abraham. It's Abe. My mother used to call me Abe. The boys in the street call me Abe. And everybody else I know at present calls me Abe. It's Abe Lass. The one, the only silent movie piano player. <laughs> I became a piano player in, in the Sama movies when I was about 17 years old. My father manufactured five children with the assistance of my mother. I was the oldest, and the five of us used to go to the movies with my father and mother. Now that was basically the only mass entertainment available. There was no radio, no television. And I was also pretty talented in the piano. I wasn't a great pianist. I was a good pianist. At any rate, uh, my father said to me, how would you like to play in the movies? He says, you play better music than that Alta Trante there, that old woman who was sitting there, you know. And she was, she never played for the movies. She played from sheet music. So uh, you could get a Storm at Sea and she'd play. that's all she had on the sheet music. But she never looked at the picture. At any rate, my father went to see the owner, and he says, I would like, he says, my son, Abe, should uh, maybe play the piano for I says, oh, no. He says, I don't have it. You don't have it. You know. My father says, all right. He says, uh, if my son, Abe, can't play here, he says, there's the Garden Theater four blocks down there. I'll take the whole family to the Garden Theater. Well, this immense loss of revenue was more than he could. Um, he says, all right, I'll give, him, I'll give him a try. So I got this job. Uh, I played on Saturdays. I was what was called a relief pianist. It was a relief to listen to me after the assault. That clutch of there was, uh, was in there banging away. I mean, you have to visualize it's, just, it's nighttime, and the robber is breaking into the house. And he gets, puts the key in, and he, you see jiggling around. And then he opens the door, goes inside, and he, he is, apparently he is looking for the jewelry. He's, he's going on tiptoe all the time. Finally, the, the flashlight hits the safe. And now, now he, he's, he's opening the safe. Taking the, taking the jewelry out, you know? He's got the jewelry, he puts it in his pocket or wherever he puts it, and he locks the safe, and he starts making a break, trips over the carpet, he falls down, kicks the lamp over, and upstairs, the man and his wife jump out of bed. Both of them were long nightgowns, and they run downstairs, and, and this robber starts running, and then and the piano starts running, and the piano runs with what goes on at the screen. That's the end of that scene. <laughs> I don't know why I ever left my youth. I mean, it was, it was so great. <laughs>